All right, guys, how you doing out there? My name is Ricky Ogama. We're going to be talking to a friend of mine, Joshua DePerry, who has an interesting story. If you don't know Joshua, he's part of the Aboriginal community here in Thunder Bay, Ontario. He's a powwow dancer. He's a break dancer. Uh, he creates his own beats. He's done all kinds of uh, music. He's traveled all, all over the country uh, performing. And it's a great pleasure to have him here to talk about his connection and kind of relationship with Facebook. That's what this conversation is going to be about. About, uh, Facebook uh, and, and its its impact in his life, and uh, he's going to be sharing his own personal story about how. Well, I'll, I'll let him fill you in about what happened with his Facebook account. Recently, it was hacked. Um, somebody using my identity and uh, fooling other friends and family that that is me. So do you, I, I, obviously you don't know who it is, probably a, a close friend, maybe an ex-girlfriend or maybe a it. secret <laughs> admirer, maybe uh, somebody who just loves you so much they want to be you. <laughs> I, I'm thinking about that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when was the first time that you signed up for a Facebook account? That was in about four years ago when I was 18 years old. And you had your account up until when? Since February 2010, that was last year. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who, I don't know, disable their Facebook account because they spend too much time on it or it takes up too much of, the, of their lives or, or they just get tired of all the feeds and, and, and all of the, the Facebook community stuff. Now, since you, have, you haven't been on Facebook for over a year, what does it feel like to be without Facebook? Because I'm a guy who's constantly on Facebook. I'm on it just about every day. So I, I don't know what it's like to be without Facebook. Can you kind of fill us in? Um, I, felt, I felt really bitter that um, I haven't seen any friends, family, um, coworkers. And it felt, I felt like I was really um, having the rough times of being on Facebook. You know, usually I was on Facebook for about six hours a day and, you know, wondering what's going on in the Internet world. So I uh, <clears throat> was having rough times and rough months. It's just, it's coming back to me, you know. So there's a lot of people that he's been disconnected from as a result of Facebook because we don't talk to all these people that we, that we know uh, in Thunder Bay uh, by phone. Most of us just kind of connect, you know, and, and see each other's feeds. So since your, your disconnection, has, has there been uh, some pressure from friends and, and community members to, you know, hey, where are you? Uh, wh what are you doing? When are you coming back to Facebook? How come you left, right? What's going on? Can you kind of fill us in on, on that? Um, I, I felt like I was pressured big time, you know, especially friends, um, s staff members of uh, other other reservations. They want to know what what I've been doing lately. You know, I've been under the basement, just been working on my own career that I want to um, take the chance to fulfill it as a goal. So I, I I had those temptations to get back on Facebook and you know uh, show them that I'm that I'm still here. I haven't haven't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> Since you lost your Facebook account, have you contacted the Facebook staff to see if they could somehow reconnect you? Yeah, I, I actually co I contacted them about, say, three or four times and never got no response yet. So I just, I'm just i just still waiting on, on the response, and uh, ever since then, I've just been waiting. <laughs> True. So I, I think there's, there's, there's some importance. You know, Facebook is becoming a, a real kind of a, an identity where it's mm -hmm. becoming part of us now. Yeah. Right, where we would feel kind of you know violated if if people take upon this uh, this identity and, and use it for for their own purposes. Do, do you kind of feel violated when when somebody took your account and and was out there you know uh, promoting you, doing <sighs> looking up at your 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 photos, uh, being you? Uh, how, how did you feel about all that? Oh, um, of course, of course. I feel I feel like I you know I've been violated. Like he's pretty much taking the whole the whole pie out of me because it's just like, it's just like, you know, it, it felt like somebody really did took your identity, you know, took your IDs, took your car, you know, took your house, like you name it, everything. It just felt like, it just, it just felt like the way how people say, you know, I'm, I'm going to take, take a, take a slice of your face and put it against my face. And I am Joshua, you know? 
So now that you're back on Facebook, welcome back. Everybody is, you know, yeah. are excited that you're you're finally coming back to the Facebook community because without it, you're nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now that you're back, what do you plan to do with Facebook? Well, recently, um, I got my I got my brother-in-law. He uh, is actually uh, making a editing a, a promotion video that stating that this is the real Joshua De Perry and not some fake Joshua De Perry um, posting uh, pics that from other people's profiles that people who took pictures of me. And so recently he's making a promotion video. And I would like to, and plus I would like to um, expand my music out in the internet world, and including in Facebook, you know, and especially the b-boy clips, because I'm I'm taking a lot serious on uh, uh, continuing, uh, continuing on my b-boy. Awesome. So you mentioned the that when you had your original Facebook account, you spent about six hours a day. You were saying on Facebook. Do you think you're going to continue this habit? Um, actually, I can. You know, I can troll. I can, I can handle it. I probably wouldn't be. Uh, um, sorry, let me let me say it again. Um, actually, I would probably would be uh, limiting on my uh, hours on Facebook. I'll probably be say less than three hours, the big time. <laughs> so I'll probably be just gonna be on there three hours a day. You know, because pretty much I want to be busy. Now you and I have been active users of MSN chat, for example. Yeah. Since since Facebook has has been exploding on the internet, do you find a lot of people are 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 not communicating through MSN chat anymore? They're they're using the Facebook chat. You know, actually, I was telling myself today that I realized I only um, realizing that the more people that I know, they're using Facebook other than MSN. But you know, MSN is good. It's good for you know quick contacts, keeping you know keeping people on tabs on there it's it's the same thing but for but for new features like facebook it you know it's it's like a pretty much unlimited thing for uh people to view pictures and uh looking at status and you know checking other mm -hmm. people around the world it just it's a, it's a it's a it's a new thing for the new generation today so are most of your friends on facebook yes do you have any friends that aren't on facebook <laughs> do you know of uh, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a dog? Oh, I do. Cool. Sure, it's the same thing. My my father just recently uh, created his own account. I don't know. He's up in the 60s. He's feeling the pressure from society that you're <laughs> basically nothing without Facebook. <laughs> so once you create an account, you know, all of a sudden you have purpose and meaning. Yeah. But there's just, there's just almost too much going on on Facebook these days. Right yeah. to to be fully invested, you know, with several thousand friends, you have feeds, updates, join this group, check this out, you know, all day long. It, yeah, it can get tiring. <laughs> so, without you on Facebook, how the hell am I supposed to get a hold of you? Yeah, and pretty much, I'm I'm trying to get used to it right now. So, I'm letting everybody know you can contact me from Facebook for now on, and I won't be. Won't be going all out anymore. I'll be staying where I'm at. But there's still two Joshua De Perry's out there. If you, yeah. if you look on them, one of them is you, one of them's not. How do we know which is you and which is not? You know what? Sooner or later, I'm gonna find out myself. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give up on upon another Facebook profile that is me. That I'm gonna keep on going and finding out who is this person and who, ha what he's been doing lately the past few years. Do you think this could be a, like a new you, like a, a new you know twenty eleven could be the new begin the, like a beginning? I think so. I think this would be the new beginning for new Joshua De Perry because with a capital P, uh, there's no limit for me. Whoa! Look out! Here he comes. <laughs> well, I want to thank everybody for listening to this uh, awesome session. I haven't done interviewing in two years, so my my vocal uh, skills and, and uh, fluency seems to be a little bit off, but it's coming back. And uh, we, we just spoke to Joshua De Perry, and he, he unfolded to us, you know, some of the things that he's been do, some of the concerns that he's had with uh, Facebook 
and, and uh, how he's lost it. And we are glad that he's back to the Facebook community. I mean, welcome back, Joshua DePerry. It's yeah, good to, yeah, yeah. Good to finally <laughs> have you, man. High five. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys didn't see that, that was an actual high five being performed here in the uh, Ricky Ogoma suite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to shout out to everybody out in the world for today. Matt Skills, all the way from Sault Ste. Marie. Mike Swift, I know you're at Subray, but... Sooner or later, I know you'll be coming back, so we're going to be boyed down as as always. I got the shout out to Jordan, Lige, Jared, my mom, my pops, you, everybody, my family, including Natasha. You know that. <laughs> I got a shout out to everybody, even shout out to Ricky. I appreciate the, for the radio show, and hopefully I'll uh, be talking to you in the, in the future. <laughs>